Measurements are not exact. Every measurement has a degree of uncertainty. The digits in the number give value to the measurement, and they're called significant figures. There's uncertainty because the last digit is an estimated digit, and it's up for the discretion of the person making the measurement. So one person may read this volume as 21.6, while another might rate it as 21.5. Either way, the number is written to communicate the level of precision of the instrument. This graduated cylinder can be only read to one decimal place. You can't add an extra zero because this instrument can't be read with that level of precision. Sometimes digits are not significant figures because they're not adding value to the measurement. The only digit that might not be significant are zeros. Leading zeros are never significant, meaning they're not trying to be a zero, instead they're just holding the place of the decimal, showing its location. Captive zeros come between non-zero digits. They're always significant. In other words, they're actually communicating the value of a zero. Trailing zeros are sometimes significant, but sometimes are not significant. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's how we can use these rules to determine how many significant figures a measurement has. The first measurement has four significant figures. The leading zeros are not significant, but these non-zero digits are significant, and so is this captive zero. The second measurement only has two significant figures. The trailing zeros are not significant. Generally, trailing zeros are only significant when the decimal is drawn into the measurement. So you can make them significant by adding a decimal at the end. It looks weird, but that's the difference. See if you could figure out how many significant figures are in these numbers. Pause the video if you need more time. The first measurement only has one significant figure, because the trailing zeros are not significant since there is no decimal. The second measurement has five significant figures. The leading zeros are not significant, all the non-zeros are significant, and these trailing zeros are significant because of the decimal that's drawn in here. It actually doesn't matter where the decimal shows up, it makes all the zeros that come at the very end of the number significant. The third measurement has two significant figures. It's written in scientific notation, and scientific notation only shows the significant figures. This part of the number shows how many times the decimal has been moved from the decimal form of the number. Sometimes it's not possible to show the correct number of significant figures with standard notation, so scientific notation is often used to fully communicate the precision of a measurement. The fourth measurement has four significant figures. The non-zero digits and captive zeros are significant, but the trailing zero is not significant because there's no decimal. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel.